you like art and you like great content, you have to stay tuned to see this cool video and content. Hello and welcome to another pixel art tribute video. This is the fourth in my series and I am doing it for Tim Schmoyer. He is the YouTuber that has video creators uh, vi uh, video channel. Um, on YouTube. So yeah, he is a wonderful guy. He's got tons of um, He's got tons of YouTube videos that you should check out as well as his own personal videos uh, His links and his info are in the description as well as my links and in, uh, info in the description. So Excuse me. Let's get started. Um Who I am is I am an artist. I am a blind pixel artist I suffer from a condition called Conan rod dystrophy, which is the slow degeneration of your cones and rods, um, which are your light and color perceptors in your eye. This only distorts the vision. It does not make it so I can lose it. Um, it's been a progressive change over the last three years, and I am considered 90% blind um, versus when I used to be 20 over 1,000 and I was considered visually impaired. Or, uh, sorry, 20 over 80, uh, and I considered to be visu vision impaired. And... Um, so I'm making pixel art despite my blindness. Uh, pixel art is an art form that's digitally constructed one pixel by one pixel at a time on a grid in like let's say a video program called Photoshop and then um, particularly for pixel art tribute videos I take the uh, pixel art version of the person who I'm doing of their profile picture. I take that and I translate that into Minecraft which is a 3D version of um, the 2D pixel art and then I do a time-lapse video of it and that's what you see on the side here so yeah that's pretty much me I will come back in a moment I get some questions to answer for Tim as well as some info that you guys should know uh, so yeah I'll be back in a okay moment. so I got a couple of questions to answer for Tim as well as it's some great info that you as subscribers should know and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe because there's great content coming out as well as you should continue to view this video because there's some cool more info that you should check out anyways okay so my first question that I that he uh, asked me today was um uh, why why do you make pixel art trivia videos? Well, the reason why I make pixel art trivia videos is because I want to connect to more people as well as get exposure for not only me but the other person who I'm doing the trivia video for. Um, I like uh, I like the challenge of making people out of pixel art as well as taking their profile pictures and turning them into art themselves. Um, I also like to um, to uh, show and explain my art form to people. Um, and this is a really, really cool way of doing it because not only am I promoting it, but the other person is promoting it as well. Uh, at least I hope that they promote it. Uh, it is their choice. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, that's pretty much why I make pixel art videos is for fun, for exposure, for helping out another person, and for explaining my art form. Uh, as well as, um, I want to sum this up too, as, as well as uh, telling my story about me and about uh, my one word perseverance and my uh, hashtag perseverance movement that is um, growing rapidly. I'm, I've got over 2,000 followers already and basically it's a group of people that know perseverance is the key to the impossible. Um, so like for me, I persevered through my challenges of blindness when I was starting to lose it three, three or so years ago and now I make art despite my blindness. So yeah, that's basically really what I want to get out to people this message. Anyways, all right, so let's move on to the second question here. Um, what do I hope to accomplish on YouTube? What I hope to accomplish on YouTube is like I just said, is that I want to get my message out there as well as my story about perseverance. I want to show people my art as much as possible because it's a complex art form that most people don't know about. Um, and um, I really, um, besides getting my story out there and my art and explaining it, um, I want to tell people, you know, about cool applications that are coming out for iPod, iPhone, and iPad, you know, that I've played before. I want to give people access to audio described videos that are on my channel, as well as do some podcasts, uh, my own design, uh, Bit by Bit Podcast is my podcast, um, where I do numerous different topics and talk, you know, for like 10 to 20 minutes. So that is pretty much... Um, what I hope to achieve with YouTube and I hope to gain an audience. Uh, I have 
I have a little bit of an audience, and thank you guys for whoever is watching this who is a subscriber. But I hope to gain and inspire and influence more uh, in the upcoming years. So, yeah. Um, let's see. So the next one here is uh, my favorite part about YouTube. My favorite part about YouTube is that I can take a video of um, basically whatever. You know, if I'm talking on camera, if I'm doing my art, if I'm... Uh, you know, going random places and things like that. If if I think it's good enough video that everyone should know or everyone should view, I can just upload it and I can tell people about it. I can share links. I can, um, uh, if, it, if it serves the right purpose, I can monetize on it. I can do all sorts of things. I can make it as cool as possible with animations. Uh, there's just so much um, that you can do with what we, we, with uh, easy content, you know, it's particularly like this. Um, I'm speaking to you on camera, but uh, as you can see, there is stuff around me as well as the um, time lapse on the side. So there's, there's tons of stuff that you can do with a video. And I think being able to make a video and then uploading it to people and then having them have the choice to view it and things like that is really, really cool. So, yeah, and being able to tell my story and expose my art to the public is also, you know, it, it intertwines with that. So, yeah, it's another great way of sharing myself with the world. All right, so, and the uh, last one is um, a couple of tips. Well, share with you uh, some of my tips. One, plan ahead. Always, 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 if you're a YouTuber, plan ahead. Plan your schedule ahead because, for one, you're going to want consistency so your your subscribers uh, know when your videos are coming up. Secondly, you want to schedule like that too because if you don't, you tend to procrastinate. And I do that. <laughs> I try not to, but um, sometimes you do. You just can't, you know, help it. Some days are good. Some days are bad. You know, I just feel like procrastinating. But if you plan ahead, you can get things done, you can compensate for um, for uh, time management and things like that. Uh, let's see, another one would be um, learn, learn progressively through your videos. If there's something you don't know like animation, learn animation by watching other people and then trying it yourself. You don't know how to talk on camera, well learn while you're doing it, you know, so you'll suck at the beginning for everything, but as you keep on going and as you keep on learning it, it's going to get better and better, and uh, that's what I would suggest. Number three, I would say, is um, connect with other YouTubers. The more people you get connected to you, the more exposure, the more connections, the uh, more uh, bigger your influence is on the world. So uh, that's another thing is uh, reach out to YouTubers, as many YouTubers as you can, um, and I would say the uh, fourth one is to make sure that you can persevere over your problems. Uh, anything that you're going through or any problems you got, disability, normal problems, daily problems, whatever, you can overcome them to achieve what you want and what your passion is. And that's, you know, and, and that's just all I can say because I know that uh, it seems difficult and, and some things seem huge. But if you are willing to work with work, and you're willing to put the effort into it, you will get to where you want to be. It might take a little bit of time, but you will get there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the questions that Tim had for me. I hope I answered his questions as well as I hope you guys got some new info um, to uh, to uh, understand from me. I want to say uh, on this part, on a, on a different note, I had some technical issues during when I did this video. Um, and if you guys are curious why uh, it gets up to a point where you start seeing me do um, do the time lapse, but you see that you see me doing it uh, recorded a different way, it's because my screen recorder decided to glitch out on the last two sections of um, Tim's um, pixel art piece. So I had to record with my iPod, which was tedious, but I got through it. So. Uh, just so you're well aware, if you're wondering what the heck is going on, that the video changed from a screenshot to um, to uh, being recorded on an iPod. Um, like I said, um, for all those, um, all of you out there, plan ahead. You know, make sure you like your videos, progressively learn. And I say I shall be back in a moment with another part of this video. Okay, so I've given you guys some really cool info about me. I've also answered some great questions uh, that I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit more about me, as well as I hope I answered your questions, Tim, uh, in this video. 
But this last part, I'm going to be showing you um, a little bit about my process, like my other videos. So if you take a moment um, from the time lapse and look below my head, you will see the three pictures that um, that are pretty much my process. And basically what I do is I take, um, I talk to the uh, tribute and I ask them for a particular um, profile picture, headshot, whatever they want to be made into uh, pixel art, you know, cause I, I want them to have the freedom to choose uh, what what photo um, gets made into art. And then um, and then what I do is I make it into uh, pixel art, which is the uh, second image. And what I do is for the tribute videos, I have to not only do them in simple colors, not only for time concerns, um, but I also have to do them in simple colors because of, um, of, uh, Minecraft limitations for the, for the time lapse. Um, but, um, mixed with those, I'm able to get the, uh, project done in a week. Um, as, yeah, most of the time it's the pixel art version and then taking the pixel art version and then putting it into Minecraft is the other little bit of it while having a screen recorded, um, while I'm, uh, making it in Minecraft. However, I did experience some technical issues. I, I want to say again is um, I experienced some technical issues. My screen reader decided to not work for me, so I had to do the last two parts of my time lapse in um, recording with my iPod, recording my iPad. So it might not be necessarily the best quality, but it does show the last two parts of the time lapse for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I, I make it, I make the profile picture into pixel art, which is the uh, one in the middle. And then the one to the right is the uh, final product, which is in Minecraft. And your image uh, is 120 pixels by 80 pixels or blocks, squares, however you want to perceive it. Um, the For all of you Minecraft lovers out there, I used uh, glowstone, white wool, pink wool, red wool, and uh, blue stained clay. Uh, to make uh, Tim's uh, profile picture out of pixel art. Um, just you all are well aware. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't speak today. Sorry um, for all of you who are out there who are new to my videos. Please do know that these are simple versions of what I can do. My personal best uh, is I have been told that I can make as realistically human or... Um, realistically as close to a photo as possible my art can be um as well as my art is also uh at least the uh now stuff is a lot um bigger than than this um because it takes me about a month or two to uh get uh well now being bigger stuff i'd say it takes a month or two for like three pieces it used to be five when it was doing smaller stuff but now i'm doing stuff that's in the uh the uh, two million pixel range of the of the total pixels being, so it takes a little bit longer. But yeah, uh, I wanted to take on bigger projects. Anyways, um, I'm getting off point here. <laughs> Sorry, um, but yeah, basically what I do is I analyze the uh, person's profile pictures, the shadows, the lights, um, how their expression is. You know, do they have any? Um, I, I, you know, it's not a prop, but I consider them props. You know, like a hat or. Do they have a sweatshirt on or, you know, um, things like that. So I consider those, you know, as well as shadows and what's necessary to be seen and what's not necessary to be seen. Um, and then I look at the image, transfer it over to my computer, and then take my computer, the pixel art image that I have on my computer, and I put it into Minecraft on my iPad because um, I have a Minecraft Pocket Edition on my iPad and then I use a screen recorder while I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, that is basically my process. Um, used with my process is a mix of um, a uh, assistive technology. One is called text to speech, and this reads your screen for you, uh, as well as a um, magnifying program that is called a um, a uh, uh, sorry, not a screen recorder. A uh, shoot, I lost it. I um, Basically, what it does is it's it's a mix of uh, text to speech as well as magnification at the same time, and I use that for making the uh, from the profile picture to the pixel art version, and then for Minecraft I use just regular magnification um, for the uh, iPad. 
Um, so yeah, um, I hope I gave you some uh, really cool uh, bits about how I do my uh, pixel art, um, you know, my process for these tribute videos. If you have any questions or comments, please comment in the comments below. I'm welcome to answer any questions you guys happen to have for me. So yeah, I shall be back with the final part of the video and see you in the morning. Okay guys, so it's the end of my video. Uh, I want to say thank you to Tim Schmoyer for letting me do his uh, pix his uh, profile picture and pixel art. Um, again, this is a pixel art tribute video for him. Uh, I hope I answered all of your questions as well as um, for all you subscribers out there. I hope I answered some more questions about me that you have. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave big comments in the comments below. Um, like, favorite, share this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber because there's more tribute videos coming out as well as other great content. Um, and I just don't want you to miss it. Uh, if you want to see Tim's or my uh, info, please look in the description. Uh, his A um, uh, little bit of info about him as well as links as well as a little bit of info about me and my links are in the description. Um, let's see. Uh, besides that, um, I say I hope I really hope you enjoyed the video um, and despite my technical glitches I got uh, past uh, past that uh, little issue at the end. Thank goodness it was only two out of eight parts that um, had to be fixed with my uh, iPod with my glitchy screen recorder. I will have that back and fixed up the next time I do my videos for next uh, next Saturday because uh, I do know what happened and what the problem was. I just can't get it. I couldn't get it fixed in time for this video to be uploaded. But um, yeah, anyways, getting back on point. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, thank you, Tim, for allowing me to do a tribute video of you. Uh, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone. Have a wonderful day and make sure that uh, through your daily challenges or um, any any uh, big life uh, challenges or problems that you have, remember that if, you, if you're willing to put the work in, if you're willing to keep going, if you want to if you want to uh, get to your goals and things, make sure that you know that perseverance is your key to the impossible. Um, take take from my example that I am 90% blind and yet I'm doing visual art for uh, not only myself but for others. So yeah, I say you guys out there uh, have a wonderful day and see you later. <laughs>